The 2017 Buick Envision is a very good five-passenger crossover. The but you should anticipate will come in good time. First it's worth understanding why it exists at all. Out of the ashes of GM's bankruptcy a few flowers blossomed and the car maker is doing exceptionally well, certainly far better than Chrysler has done in the wake of its free fall into Chapter 11. But of all the surprises at GM's turnaround, Buick surely ranks highest, without question the least likely player to thrive if you only study the North American market. Look farther than our shores, to China, however, and you won't be shocked. Note that the Envision, which has been on sale in China for a year and a half, will reach about 200,000 units this year, the entire Buick portfolio in the US only totaled 223,000 cars in 2015. Not only is China Buick's primary market, but what it makes there, like the Envision, is intended for a different sort of buyer. Here, we'd call it a compact crossover. In China the Envision is a relatively large car, and the buyer there is far more likely to use it as a tall limo, or at the very least, as a big-time status statement. That buyer is also very likely to be in his or her mid-30s, the average Buick buyer in the US is getting younger, but, at 58, is hardly a millennial. Still, Americans who buy the Envision will benefit from all of this China focus. Huge effort went into its development since the target competitor in China is the Audi Q5, according to Rick Spina, executive chief engineer for the Envision. Spina explained that Buick went to the trouble and expense of isolating the entire chassis from engine, suspension, and driveline vibration and sound penetration. If you look at non-luxury models like Ford Escape, Honda CRV, nothing's isolated, everything is hard bolted to the body and so all that vibration goes into the frame. Spina says that even though you'd guess the China-built Envision shares the general parts bin of the Chevy Cruze and Equinox, it's almost entirely unique. It's kind of an orphan, he says, because GM couldn't afford to invest in the ride-tuning Buick had to have to compete with Audi in China for a volume Chevy product, so nothing from Chevy, for now, is on this platform. And although it would have made sense to have Cadillac or GMC share it, Cadillac's XT5 and GMC's Acadia were already on a different development cycle. Besides, he's pretty proud that the Envision was developed strictly for Buick. For Buick in China we had to move up. I wanted someone to get into Envision and say, I didn't expect a Buick to feel like this. This feels really good. And the car truly does. The steering of the higher spec premium models we tested with both front and all wheel drive was fluid and linear, the ride erring slightly more toward feeling placid rather than sporty. And the Envision is very, very quiet inside, at anything below full throttle flogging it is, dare we say, Lexus serene. So the Envision is immediately comfortable and capable. Maybe not an Autobahn ripper, but a little more compliance than is the Audi or BMW. <laughs>